Anonymous Watch Guy here with a special unboxing and overview video. But first, quick wrist check. Wearing an awesome Casio, the Mission Impossible watch, the Casio DW290, awesome watch. Uh, a favorite and one of the best watches you can get, sub $50. And today we are taking a look at another one of the wa best watches you can get under 50 bucks. A legendary watch, a watch that I've owned before, but sold, and a watch that I've, I've had in videos before, but never done a full video on. What are we talking about here? We are talking about, of course, the Casio Duro, the world's greatest affordable dive watch, and one of the best watches you can get, in my opinion, one of the best bang for buck watches, definitely under $100 even, but for sure under $50. These went up over $50 in some places uh, here a few years ago or in the last year. I did get this one for like $49 on Amazon. They've come back down a little bit. This is the Batman version. I had the Blue Row or the All Blue Duro before, uh, and it's definitely a really cool watch. Uh, a lot of bang for buck. And the one big criticism people give of this watch is the size. It is a little bit larger watch. It is a 44 millimeter watch and it's a full 44 millimeters. You do give a 22 millimeter lug opening. It is sub 50 lug to lug though. I measure at 49 millimeters on my calipers, 49 lug to lug. You do have a screw down crown there, unsigned at the three o'clock position that gives you 200 meters water resistance. Just over 12 millimeters thick, 12.2 millimeters thick on this one. Of course, sub $50, you're gonna have a mineral crystal. This just has a standard mineral crystal on it, but it is a nice looking mineral crystal. I'm sure there's no anti-reflective treatment, but you get a beautiful shot of that nice sunray black dial uh, love the sunray black dial on this one. Looks really good. Of course, it is a quartz watch running some sort of Japanese quartz movement. What that movement is, no one could ever know. Uh, I'm sure there's information on what it is out there, but it's just a standard kind of generic Japanese quartz movement. Uh, you do have your Casio branding up there beneath the 12 o'clock position. You've got your iconic Marlin logo and your water resistance down there above the six. Got a framed date window over there at the three o'clock position. Uh, what appear to be applied indices. You've got your double baton at the 12, a single at the three, six, and nine, and circles at your other markers. Love the blue on the tip of the seconds hand. And the marker, the seconds hand, is very close to hitting the marks. It might just be very slightly off, but it's very close. Uh, I know that drives a lot of people crazy on a watch this affordable. It should not, uh, but it is close to hitting the marks. And that Sunray black dial is really nice. Got a really nice, I really like the effect on that one. Uh, a lot more depth and just uh, interest and character on this dial. Uh, for a $50 watch, it is really pleasant to look at. Got an aluminum bezel, bezel insert. And it is the Batman colors, black and blue. Uh, love that bezel insert. Love the black and blue, that pop of blue on the seconds hand. The blue on the bezel insert uh, really makes this watch stand out. I think it looks great. It is 120 click unidirectional bezel. And maybe just a smidge of play. And again, for a budget watch, the action is pretty darn good and it lines up pretty well as well it is a 316 l stainless steel lots of high polish on this again for a budget watch you do have some brushing on the top of the lugs there and some contrast and finishing there your high polish bevel brushing on the tops of the lugs high polish sides of the case for a watch that is this affordable you really can't complain about the finishing on it it is pretty solid overall. It does come on, I, I think you can get this on bracelets. I've never had one on bracelet. I always get them on these rubber straps. Not the world's greatest rubber strap, but it is 
not too stiff. There is some flexibility to it. You've got one big floating keeper, a unsigned stainless steel buckle. Uh, you don't get drilled lugs. You don't get quick release spring bars. Uh, but you do get some space on the back of the strap there to access the spring bar. So it's not terrible to change the strap on these. You've got a screwed in case back with that awesome Marlin logo on it again there. And some specs running across the back there. Stainless steel, water resistant, 200 meters. Uh, the movement uh, module there as well, like on all Casio watches. And just a really, really cool watch. Big fan of the Duro. Again, in my opinion, maybe the very best watch you can get for less than 50 US dollars. Uh, don't let the size scare you away. It is a bigger watch, but hey, uh, it is a fantastic watch. It's a fantastic daily wear watch. It's a fantastic beater watch. It's a fantastic dive watch for the price, and a lot of them are really good looking. I've had the Kermit one. I've had the Blue Row, and the, now I have the Batman. Uh, I gave one away. I sold one. I will probably keep this one in the collection for a while. Uh, it is a great looking watch. Let's take a look at the loom on the watch and then we'll take a look at it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here is the loom. It's not the world's greatest loom, but at the price point, it is not bad either. Nice green glow. Got loom on all your indices. Solid loom on that handset. You get your arrow, hour hand, kind of a sword style minute hand there, glowing. Your glowing pip up there at the 12 o'clock position. Again, for the price point, it's pretty solid. And here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. Again, it is a larger watch at 44 by 49. Gonna give you some wrist presence. You're down the barrel shot there. It is not overhanging my wrist. Those lugs do curve down a bit. It is not too big. Uh, if you have really small wrist, yeah, it's probably, it might be too big for you. But for everything you get for $50 on this watch, you can't beat it. It's just an awesome watch. Again, probably the best watch you can get for less than $50. Uh, the Casio Duro. Uh, it is awesome. If you like the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.